This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application that's aimed at people who uh, like to spend their time in Vegas or maybe uh, possibly planning a trip to Vegas and want all of the travel guide information related to the city. It's a brilliant little app, a uh, brilliant little utility for the traveler going to the city. Uh, Sin City, we could call it, I suppose. And the application is called Travel Vegas. It's available for free in the App Store, so there's no reason not to download it now if you'd like to uh, follow along. <coughs> Excuse me, keep score at home, so to speak, as we do this review. That's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this and just kind of give you the basic run through of this. Uh, you do have a few different things if you're from Europe or just prefer Celsius and kilometers. You can change that here. Likewise, there are a couple different follow options, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Do follow the developers of uh, Travel Vegas. You also get some other information like weather information right there. It's partly cloudy in 87 in Vegas at the moment, which I was not previously aware of because I live in Denver. So this is the main interface. You have this kind of uh, stock, we wouldn't really call it stock, but this very iOS inspired uh, navigational bar along the bottom, as well as the grid layout for all of the elements that are included. So that's really quite nice. You, you, uh, you can access the information that's included within Travel Vegas using the various categories. You've got deals, hotels, shows, dining, nightlife, transportation, tours, attractions, and air. So all the important things that you would want to have on hand when traveling in Vegas or uh, possibly planning a trip there too. You could use this application for that purpose, actually planning a trip as opposed to being there. But the uh, we'll talk more about the uh, geotag locational services in just a second. So obviously the focus of this app is actually being in Vegas, but you could plan a trip if you wanted to. The app also comes with some travel guides, which we'll dive into in just a second. All of this stuff is very, uh, yeah, yeah, very informative, actually. We were kind of surprised by the amount of information that's here that's useful for your trip. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you one of these, I guess, the Grand Canyon guy, which is not in Vegas, but you get a nice full body text introduction and explanation of the uh, the guide or the uh, the travel destination. So the Grand Canyon there. You have all kinds of other things going on. You get tours for the whole family, taxi tips if you're not used to using taxis in Vegas, um, downtown Vegas hotels, Cirque du Soleil shows, um, or even just things like uh, the best hotels or uh, booking a Vegas vacation. So if you're planning a trip, this is a good place to stop off, get some extra information about the town if you don't know anything about it or uh, want a little bit more information before you book a room or do anything else. You know, great place to stop off there to check that out. So there are your travel guides. Our uh, one complaint with this is actually that you can't favorite these. We would have really have liked to have saved these specific things to sort of uh, keep a, a journal of sorts of all the information and places that we wanted to visit in Vegas. So that would have been nice. It's not here. It's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Just uh, for the developer, it's something to uh, potentially maybe add in future updates. On that note, you do have favorites, which you have. Uh, I have a single show right here. I've absent that I have favorited. When you have more, you can search through them. You can sort them in a variety of different ways using this uh, sort of carousel style thing. You can sort them by cost, which is brilliant. You can also sort them by rating or closest to me. Again, we'll talk about the geotag locations in just a second. But the ability to sort this by cost is actually quite a tremendous boon for the app. Let's say you're uh, working with a specific budget. In a uh, single evening, you can sort them by high to low or low to high or uh, however else you would like to. You also have filters. You've got location. Uh, which puts it, uh, you know, uh, wherever you happen to be or wherever you would like to look. Or, For instance, if you were planning a vacation and you wanted to go to a specific part of Las Vegas the next day, you could easily boot up the location services and then, uh, you know, you know, find a specific part that you were looking for, like the strip or off the strip. And uh, then it sorts it. I didn't have anything there. Another interesting point is that you can map everything. So there's this single favorite that I have favorited on the map. If you had lots of these and you were in a specific area, you could hit this. And then uh, do this by location. You can also do satellite view if you prefer. Uh, so that's quite nice. You can also sort by region again. So just to get a little bit more information about uh, your specific location where you happen to be and uh, what you, you would like to be looking for during the day or what you had planned for that day. There's also the same list functions. I'm going to go back there. In terms of the actual, uh, the main portion of this app, the sorting of the various attractions, this works very flawlessly. If you're looking for sale deals, for instance, you simply hit this and it gives you closest to me options. Um, you know, I am 600 miles away from Vegas here in Colorado, but uh, if you were closer, this would work much better. It would show you exactly where everything is, how close you were, etc., etc. So that's quite nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on a uh, attraction here, what women want, pass. 
And then you can actually purchase this from directly inside the application. You get a little bit more information about it, including location. Uh, you could map this if you wanted. You get just some extra tidbits to tide you over. So that is decent. And like we said, you also have the map function again. Uh, you know, in every single step of the app, basically, you can hit map. And then you're served up a uh, instant focus on what happens to be around you. So that's quite nice. And again, you can sort this by satellite or location. Speaking of sorting, I'm going to go back to, uh, let's do a different category, actually, this time. Let's do nightlife. You can, of course, sort these using the same filters that we saw in the, uh, in the favorites section. You can sort by alphabetics. Uh, that's not a word, alphabetical order, I suppose. Closest to me, rating high to low cost. All of this is fantastic. Again, if you're looking for a cheap night out, you can sort by cost. Or if you're looking for a very, very classy night out, you could sort by rating high to low, however you would like to do it, which is actually what I'm going to do right now. And again, you also have filters. You've got a couple different filters, uh, depending on the category that you happen to be in. You've got club type and location. It's a shame you can't even more uh, add even more filters, like do a location filter and then a club type filter. Uh, so that's kind of a... Uh, you know, sort of another just small uh, gripe that we might have with the application that could be fixed in future updates, etc., etc. So those are the filters, and again, if, you, uh, if you've if you noticed, there is a little search icon in most of this, so you can simply type in a uh, specific search query if you're looking for something, which we're not actually going to do now, but uh, again, that is there if you would like it. Uh, so all in all, it's a pretty fantastic way to find things that are near you. Um, we had no problem finding attractions. Again, we aren't in Vegas right now, but if we were, we would have no problem at all finding where we were going to go that night or what we might see the next day or even during the day, you know, etc., etc. And with the option to favorite things, for instance, this uh, club that, or resort actually that's right here, you simply hit favorite. Here is the uh, main screen actually, the overview for these specific attractions if you go in. You can call them directly, you can get directions, you can look at the reviews if there are any, you can also write your own reviews if you would like. You can visit the website and uh, more importantly it's also got hours and cost which is really great. We loved that a lot, the fact that this much information is right here. Basically, this app is all you would need to find things in the area that are attractive, find how much they cost, and then do them or get directions to them so you can actually do them there. So with all of that in mind, to give just kind of a final wrap-up on Travel Vegas here, this is a brilliant app for the person, an individual traveling, traveling to Vegas. Um, it is free in the App Store, so there's no reason not to have it. And uh, with all the geotag locations and the ability to favorite things and to plan things out ahead, not to mention the travel guides, it's really just one of the best applications or utilities that we've seen aimed at traveling to Vegas. So with all of that in mind, we are going to give it a 5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. If you're traveling to Vegas, get this app. There's no reason not to, and we really feel like you'll enjoy it. So with all of that in mind, Travel Vegas does get a 5 out of 5 star rating. And that's all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign up. We'll see you guys later. Bye.